On the screen, you can see the main window of NeroIOM.net software. The menu bar is located at the top of the window. Below the menu bar is the toolbar to quick access to the most frequently used commands. On the left side, you will find buttons to start a new exam, open the recorded data with the exam manager and change the software settings. Below is the list of test templates for different types of surgeries. To quickly start a new examination, simply click on the name of the corresponding test. You can also start monitoring by clicking the new exam button and in the appear dialog box enter the patient's data and select the test template from the list. The test window appears on the screen. Test window contains data windows according to the select template and stimulator controls. Place the electrodes in accordance with the sites indicated in the test template. Check electrode placement quality by clicking the impedance button on the toolbar. In the open window you will see the impedance values of the used sites. Green indication means good electrode contact. If you see red indication check if the corresponding electrode is applied correctly. If all electrodes are placed correctly, you can start the monitoring. Press the monitoring button on the toolbar. The recorded traces will appear in the free run window. Stimulators are controlled using the Stimulate window buttons. Here you can turn stimulation on or off as well as adjust basic stimulation parameters such as stimulation intensity, stimulus duration and others. Press the arrow buttons to increase or decrease the parameter values by one step. To quickly change stimulus polarity double-click on the stimulus amplitude value. The plus symbol indicates normal polarity. The minus symbol indicates inverse polarity. And the plus minus symbol indicates biphasic stimulus. To view and change all the possible parameters of the selected stimulator, click on the line with its name. To start stimulation, press the red button in the corresponding stimulator window. In the stimulator window, the measured current value will be displayed in green. If you point the mouse cursor to the green inscription, additional stimulus data will appear. For example, stimulation voltage, impedance and charge. If there is a break in the stimulation chain, in other words, there is no contact between electrodes and the patient's body, the red inscription break will appear in the corresponding stimulate window. In the data windows corresponding to this stimulator, the recording process begins and the traces appear. A red circle lights up in the window where the signal is being recorded at the moment. Depending on the test settings, one stimulator can be related to several trace windows, as well as one data window can be related to several stimulators. To stop stimulation manually, click the button on the stimulator window again. The trace scale can be changed by plus, minus, multiply and divide buttons. 
or by simply selecting the desired scale in the drop down list. When choosing a horizontal scale, auto mode traces will be automatically adjusted depending on the size of the window. To change the scale of a particular trace, click on its name and use the appear button to adjust it. The current traces can be marked as baseline. Those are traces that will be compared with ones obtained during the monitoring process. To mark the traces as baseline ones, select the traces and use Save as Baseline context menu command. After that, baseline traces will display green. If the window contains calculated parameters, the deviation of its current value from the baseline value is shown in percent for each parameter. To remove traces, use context menu command or delete key. To change other window settings, use the setting context menu command for particular window. If electrocautery detector clip is connected and the surgeon is using electrosurgery device, the icon lights up in the toolbar. At the same time, stimulation and sound notification are paused. If necessary, you can adjust the sensitivity of an electrocautery detector using the slider. Here you can turn off the detector at all. Traces from the data window can be easily copied to the report. To do that, use Copy to the report context menu command. You can also copy the entire contents of the test window to the report using test copy to the report command. Here you can select what data to copy to the report. To view the contents of the report, click the Open Report button on the toolbar. The report editor window will appear on the screen. To return to the test window, press the test button. To navigate over the data recorded during monitoring, use the tam timeline control. To activate it, use the View Timeline Main Menu command. All recorded traces are displayed at the bottom of the screen. To go to the required trace, you just need to click on the corresponding stroke. To finish monitoring and close the test window, use the Close button on the toolbar. After that, the saved exam can be opened to review or continue monitoring. To view the monitoring data, use the exam manager or click on the name of the exam in the list of the last recorded examinations.